What is up guys, in this video we're gonna be going over five tricep exercises that really blew up my triceps and added some inches to my arms over the years. So, let's get on into it. What is up my friends, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den locating Colmar PA, strength and conditioning facility with a spice of strongman training in there. Uh, if you guys are coming to this video, hopefully you watched my previous video on bicep training and the exercises that have really helped increase the size of my arms. I'll put the link right up here. So in this video, we're just gonna dive into my top five exercises for the triceps. So it's called the triceps because there are three heads of the triceps. We have our lateral, our medial, and our long head of the tricep. And the way that we can hit the different heads of the tricep is through different range of motion with the shoulder as well as different exercises I'm gonna cover right now. The first exercise on my list when it comes to tricep growth has to be the skull crusher. And typically when I do this exercise, I like to use the easy curl bar just because it takes a little bit of pressure off of my wrist personally. Uh, and when doing this exercise, when I'm bringing the bar down, I like to go past my head and almost a little bit behind my head, which just allows for more range of motion in the movement coming from the shoulders and more range of movement. We're gonna hit the long head of the tricep just a little bit more. And as I bring it back up, I don't lock it out all the way and I almost have my elbows bent slightly. This is mainly just to keep time under tension with the muscle. And like I said, just trying to activate that long head as much as possible. So one of the common mistakes I see when it comes to the skull crusher, and I myself was guilty of this for a long time, is just bringing the barbell to your forehead and pressing it straight back up, locking it out every single time. Now the reason that we wanna to try to stay away from this is just to have more time under tension without that lockout and also just getting more range of motion for the long head of the tricep. So the next movement on my list has to be the JM press, which we all know is named after James Madison, one of the most jacked pioneers in the world. Kidding, completely kidding. Uh, it's, it's not James Madison at all. So the JM press is basically a skull crusher and a bench press put together. And typically when we do this movement, we want to take our thumb out of the equation and go with a thumbless grip on the barbell. So the main difference between the jam press and the bench press has to do with bar path. Typically when we do the jam press, we're coming down right on our throat, okay? So almost if you're gonna cut your head off with the barbell, that's the bar path you want with the jam press, which is gonna put a lot more tension on the triceps. I suggest having a spotter or some spotting arms just in case no one's around. Uh, you're not gonna be able to go as heavy, but you still want to err on the side of caution and keep yourself safe. If you're looking to get even more tricep engagement, you can add pins to this uh, movement, which is going to just help really section off the bar path to keep it way more in your triceps and take away the chest and shoulders from the movement as well. Now, typically for me, we're talking straight up hypertrophy, okay? So I like to do this movement for anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, three to four sets. People do go a lot lower with their reps and use it in a strength block, which is totally fine. But for the sake of this video, if you're looking to get more volume in, I would say stay between that 10 to 15 rep range for this exercise. Third movement I have on my list for tricep growth has to be uh, push downs with a rope. Now I've talked about in my bicep video why I like the rope, and basically you can turn your wrist at different angles, which is gonna allow you uh, to hit the tricep in different ways. Now when we're doing these specifically, we wanna make sure that we almost hinge our butt back slightly, and when we're pulling the ropes, we want our shoulder to travel uh, slightly past or parallel to our body, okay? We don't wanna cut that range of motion short, and especially when we're trying to hit that long head of the tricep, we wanna really try to push our shoulders back uh, through the movement to get that long head activated as much as possible. When it comes to this exercise, I like a little bit more volume, so I'm gonna do three to four sets from anywhere from 15 to 20 reps. I feel like that's the sweet spot for me, but play around with it and see what works best for you. One of my favorite movements when it comes to tricep growth, even upper body growth, has to be doing dips. These are foundational movement that are just in my program ever since I was a teenager, and I'm sure you guys at some point in your training have done dips. So I like to keep dips in my regimen you know, throughout the year. Uh, you can add weight to these okay, by using a belt, whatever, uh, but typically the rule of thumb here is that in order to activate more triceps, we wanna kinda of press our chest through on the movement, and that we wanna kinda of get uh, about parallel or slightly below parallel uh, so that we're feeling it more in the triceps instead of pushing more of a lean forward and feeling that more in our pecs. So for me, I don't like to go too deep in these because then I actually feel it in my shoulders, but everybody's different. So I'd say rule of thumb, parallel, slightly below parallel, three to four sets, anywhere from eight to 15 reps, I feel like it's gonna be the bread and butter for this movement. All right, last movement, and this is gonna be for just a burnout at the end of the session. We really like doing uh, banded kickbacks here. Now for this exercise, what you're trying to do is just literally just obliterate the rest of the tricep and finish up your session. So we like cranking these out for about three to four sets, 20 to 30 reps, just 
all out, kicking them back as hard as you can. No rules, take no prisoners, put the blood in the tricep, finish it out. Shouldn't be able to do anything when you're done with this exercise, and it should just be a wrap for the whole session. If you don't have a band, you can easily substitute this with a cable machine. Just do one arm, switch to the other arm, and to bang out your sets and reps, and voila, your triceps are fried. So you guys have wrapping up this video, giving you guys some exercise that have worked really well for me and my clients, uh, but interested to know what you guys have to say. So drop below in the comment section, tricep exercise that really have helped increase the size of your triceps. Hopefully you guys checked out the bicep video that I put out before this one. Uh, but I think between those two videos, you have some great information to help grow your arms to that next level. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until then guys, stay on Lean Me and Shrek Machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.